All right, so the big thing is D20 possibly never drawing Shadow of the Past again. Maybe. Um, so Pursued by the Past, I think it's an interesting concept for sure. I think it's I think it's an interesting idea. Oh yeah, standard cap. So Pursued by the Past, I like the idea of this. Um, with the counter setup, like I think that's pretty cool in the way that it works, or it's a cool idea. Um, you know, basically flip the card over. If four tokens go on it, it comes to the play, right? Um, so I think that's interesting. Place one pursuit counter on the past thing. Then if it has any counters on it, which it should, right? I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, then the villain schemes. It makes me wonder if there's some way you can block the counters on it, that they would have to word it that way. Right? Place one pursuit counter on pursued by the past. Then if it has any counters on it, which it should, unless, unless it's... Because the force response wouldn't, after you place a pursuit counter here, if then, I guess that's what it is. Is if you flip this, number of counters here is at least three or more, remove each counter. So I guess that's what would stop it. Is if you got a nemesis, it would stop it from doing it. Okay, now I get it. Okay, now I get it. I think the counters keep resetting. Yeah, okay, villain. So you would do this first. It would force, uh, force, it's a force response though, which is weird, but that's fine. So it's after you place a pursuit counter here, if the number of counters. So it's a response after you place the counter. So place your third counter, clear the counters, flip it, do all this stuff, right? Find your nemesis, reveal it, all that fun stuff, shuffle it, flip this over. Then if it has any counters, the villain scheme, so it would not scheme. Okay. And then you don't scheme. Yeah. And that's nice that it doesn't like carry over counters, right? So if it's three or more, you remove every counter on it. Which is nice. All right, so Alter Ego, place one Pursuit Counter here. Then if it has any counters, card gains Surge, okay. And then Hero Side, place one Pursuit Counter. Then if it has any counters, the villain attacks you, sure. Each Nemesis minion in play activate, activates against you. If no minions activate this way, place three Pursuit Counters and this flips, um, which stinks. Oh, three more than the number of players, so it'd be four, sorry, I can't count. So that would be three, so that's, that's rough for Solo. Does that mean we get an expert three? I would assume so. I would assume so. It's just like place a million pursuit counters and your nemesis attacks you five times in a row. Game over. <laughs> but yeah, I would I would assume that we get that. 